you can reject somebody who proves himself unfit to be president every single day in every single way. You can reject his dark, pessimistic, fear-mongering vision of a country where we turn against each other and turn away from our role in the world. And instead, you can choose as qualified a person who has ever run to lead this country. Why would it take this long for Republican senators and Republican congressmen and Republican governors and state reps and state senators, why would it take you this long to figure out that Donald Trump shouldn't be president? If you've, made, if you've made a career of idolizing Ronald Reagan, then where were you when your party's nominee for president was kissing up to Vladimir Putin, the former KGB officer? I, I, you, know, you, you, you used to criticize me for even talking to the Russians. Now suddenly, you're OK with your nominee having a bromance with Putin. Donald Trump has nothing to offer but anger and grievance and blame. And so he, he, his closing argument asks, what do you have to lose? Well, I'm here to tell you everything. You know how much progress we've made despite the opposition, despite the forces of discrimination, despite the politics of backlash. And that progress doesn't stop with my presidency. We're just getting started. So progress is on the ballot. Civility is on the ballot. Tolerance is on the ballot. Justice is on the ballot. Equality is on the ballot. Our democracy is on the ballot.